Hello everyone, thank you for supporting tonight's Genesis and Russell Armour Holmes Bohemian Ball in aid of the Great North Air Ambulance Service. By simply being here tonight, you are contributing to a charity that provides critical care in times where it is needed most, therefore saving lives throughout Cumbria, Northumberland and Scotland. We are going to hear from Jamie Walsh, one of the HEMS paramedics working for the Great North Air Ambulance, who explains what the service is all about and who it reaches. So we have, we have a number of call-outs. We have between 1,500 and 2,000 call-outs a year uh, between both bases. So we have a base in Langwathby in Cumbria, just near the Lake District, and we have a base in the North East. Because we cover such a huge area, we cover a very urban area on the east side of the country, uh, taking in Newcastle, Sunderland, Middlesbrough. We also have a rural area in the Lake District where you get very, very different jobs. You get a lot of um, sort of medical cases in the mountains as well that we deal with, but a lot of the trauma and, and whatnot that mountains bring and, and being in the mountains. And obviously over the east, east side we can kind of get a lot of RTCs and different type of you know, assaults and different type of injuries from that. So yeah, we get a, a wide variety of different cases from different parts of the, the area. To fund the air ambulance for a year, that's two aircraft and the car on the night shift, it costs around 7.6 million per year. Wow. We average, uh, it, average it out on the aircraft per task and it costs around four and a half thousand pound per mission. So it's, it's a significant amount of money, but the area that we cover can't be covered with that kind of level of critical care by any other means, so it is, it is massively important, particularly in Cumbria with the mountains. It's a really rural area and you know, standard road ambulance vehicles can get there. Nick and his wife Nikki loved the freedom they found at festivals like Kendall Calling. They enjoyed their carefree downtime. But early on a sunny September morning in 2018, life changed in an instant. On his way to work, Nick's car was hit head-on. Nick sustained life-threatening and life-changing injuries. Great North Air Ambulance paramedic Marcus Johnson was one of the first on the scene. We were querying whether he had a spinal injury because he wasn't really moving his legs. Um, and even when we moved him, he had a big injury to his knee and he didn't flinch at all, which would indicate that he's got some loss of sensation there. So overall, he was one of the, one of the poorest people I've seen. I think if we'd arrived probably 15 to 20 minutes later, I think Nick may well have been in cardiac arrest. We were able to give him blood products. Um, we believed Nick was bleeding from somewhere, probably into his chest. So by us being able to give him blood products, it was being able to replace some of the stuff which he lost. Nick spent almost two years in hospital and rehab. His legs were amputated. He survived bed sores, sepsis and COVID. And three years since the collision. Today is the day Nick, Nicky and Marcus are being reunited here at the Great North Air Ambulance Services base. Thank you is not a big enough word. And there's nothing to say that really fulfils how we feel. Um, from bringing Nick literally back from the point of dying because you were, you were, he was as close to dying as you can be without being dead. And it's not been dramatic. That's what we were told by Marcus and Dr. David Bramley at the time. Where would you be without them today? I'd be a widow. I would be a widow. It's as simple as that. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Better terms, eh? On better terms, absolutely, yes. It's been a long time. Marcus, what's it like seeing Nick for the first time again after three years? Oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Like you say, it's, been a, it's actually been a day I've been looking forward to. We've just been discussing saying how a lot of people don't realise that actually what, what you went through initially was just a small part of your recovery process. And obviously you're still going through this recovery process and the rehabilitation. But the fact that you've gone through it and you keep on facing each hurdle and getting through it and each time coming up with a smile on face, I think it's just brilliant. The whole life there, you know, it's, um, I know you say it's your everyday job and you do it, but it's not. You, you affect the outcome of people's futures and to do that, I'm truly forever grateful. Thank you. To have the hobbies, the kids to have the dads, 
grandkids have the granddads. Life's good. You take what you're given and you, you just move with it, don't you? You don't realise that there's a valuable service out there that you wouldn't probably need one day. And well, just don't realise how much the, the public are needed to have support the charity. As Nick and Nikki continue to find new ways to live life all over again together, one thing that's a constant for them is their support for the Great North Air Ambulance Service. So our organisation, the Great North Air Ambulance Service, we bring all of those hospital skills forward to the patient in their own home or even out on the roads. Um, that's surgical skills, blood products, and these critical care interventions, which is really what our air ambulance service is all about. You go into the, the, the people who really, really need you, that require those critical interventions and specialties to be able to make a difference and a positive outcome for them. The Great North Air Ambulance Service is 100% charity funded, and um, so we can't survive, we can't do what we do in our area um, without donations such as yours. The, the money goes towards everything from the day-to-day -day running of the charity through to maintaining, replacing, restocking all of our equipment that we carry on the aircraft, the fuel for the aircraft, the maintenance of the aircraft. To be able to bring that care to people who need us, it's essential that we get the funding that we're able to then put towards you know, patient care and helping people across the north. I think we, all of us here just feel really privileged to be able to help in that way and to call this our job. I'm sure you will all agree that listening to Nick's story brings home the reality of how life can change in an instant. And listening to the words of his wife, Nikki, and the admiration and the appreciation that she holds for the Great North Ambulance Service in saving Nick's life really hits home how important this service is. The Great North Air Ambulance Service is funded 100% by public donations. Not even the cotton wool in their treatment bags is provided by the NHS or through taxpayer funds. And it is the ambition of the Great North Air Ambulance Service for this to be a 24 hours a day, seven days a week operation. At over £7 million currently to operate the service and over £4,000 per flight, we're going to have to go much further in our public donations to fund this ambition. So I'm asking you to dig deep tonight, as deep as you possibly can, it will be massively appreciated. Thank you for attending our event and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.